entering a contaminated area. Hey, hey, what is up, everyone? The LDB is back at it again, coming at you today with the easiest, fastest way I have found to complete the new Shield Rebel. Um, I will be showing gameplay of me completing Wave 15 in about 22 minutes or so, so it didn't take too long. And I will have some commentary in there, but if you feel like jumping around, I will have timestamps in the description. Um, so let's take a look at what the actual shield says. Pretty straightforward. Get to Wave 15 in Resistance. And today I'm going to show you how easy that actually is going to be. Um, so, as always, if you enjoy these videos or find them helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for future content, and uh, drop a comment down there let me know how you completed it if you did, um, or if you have any questions about it. So, let's get into the build I'm going to be using, and then we'll be off to the gameplay. Okay, so let's go over these skills and talents really quick. Um, I'm going to be going with the booster shot, pretty straightforward. Temporarily increases damage and damage resistance, so that's a two for one, and especially in those later rounds, that can really help you out. Now, a lot of people are going to be going with the ammo cache, and I kind of advise against it. Find something else that can work to your benefit, um, because we are not farming this. I'm, I'm going to say that again. We are not farming this. We are simply getting to wave 15. That's it. If you want to farm it afterwards, by all means, throw that ammo cache on. But, since we're not farming it, we're not going to be opening any caches or anything like that, feel free, buy ammo, buy medkits if you need to, whatever you need to, just, I think this would be kind of like a dead skill, honestly, um, just go with something that would help you out in some other way, for instance, the active sensor turret, this thing will, you know, kind of keep them at bay, will distract them, it'll help you out a lot, uh, you know, and especially when you watch the gameplay, you'll see what I'm talking about, now, I'm going to be going with the recovery link because obviously doing the solo, a second life, is a great thing. If you're running with a team, you could use whatever you want, but I'm just going to be doing the solo to show you how easily you can do it by yourself. And uh, other than that, the talent's pretty straightforward. Critical save, we got tech support. This is a must, I think. Kill a hostile while any skill is deployed to extend any active skill's duration by 10%. So when we throw that turret out there, every time we kill somebody it's up for 10% longer. Pretty good. Now, since we are going to be using an assault rifle and we lack that crit chance, precision is always a good thing there. And we have on the move as well. So now let's take a look at the build itself. And here it is. So as you can see, we have a six-piece striker set here. If you threw your striker set away when they nerfed it for PvP, I really do feel bad for you because it is still a beast. Absolute monster in PvE. Uh, it's pretty much my go-to, honestly. I know you can make some pretty nice skill builds here and there, but honestly, as far as damage to survivability, overall, for the most part, this is what I go with. Um, now, the weapons that I'm going to be using, my primary is an LVOAC, and we have Ferocious, Deadly, and Destructive. This is pretty much a god roll for me, other than having Predatory, but that's what your secondary is for. Um, Ferocious gets that damage to elites up 10%. Deadly gives you... Uh, your crit damage up, and destructive gives you your armor destruction up. 15% on top of an assault rifle that comes with enemy armor damage, and then on striker itself also comes with enemy armor damage. So when we get to the character sheet, that gets pretty interesting. Uh, but regardless, the, the mods that I'm going to be using are a mag with mag size, crit chance, and rate of fire. The optics are crit damage, headshot damage, and crit chance. Got to stack that headshot damage in PvE as much as you can. It really does make a difference. Um, the muzzle has crit damage, headshot damage, and crit chance, and the underbarrel has crit damage, stability, and accuracy. Now, my secondary is the showstopper, mainly because this will help you get your stacks up a lot quicker um, and kind of in a, in a clutch situation if you need to, they're, you know, if they're rushing you, pull this thing out and just let them have it, right? Um, it comes with predatory, deadly, and obviously showstopper. So that predatory on there, that is pretty much a lifesaver for me. If you're, again, in a pinch, pull that out, you put someone down, you get some stacks up at the same time, you get predatory to proc, and with deadly and showstopper on there, it's hitting pretty hard. So pretty straightforward on that. Now, as far as the build itself goes, you might be looking up there at the toughness, like, how did you get to 714,000? It's because we're in world tier one. Boom. Bomb drop right there. Move down to world tier one. If you haven't done it already, and go run resistance up to wave 15. 
it makes it a hell of a lot easier than in Wave, uh, or I'm sorry, in World Tier 5, right? So that's a little secret on that. But at the same time, this build still works great for uh, World Tier 5 as it does in the uh, World Tier 1. I think I used one medkit during gameplay. It was pretty easy, very smooth, not a problem at all. So the chest piece has stamina on it with health, exotic damage, resilience, and ammo capacity. And I have two stamina with crit chance mods on there. Now, I would be having uh, the stamina with damage to elites on there, but I don't have any of those. I only have firearms to elites. So it is what it is. Um, the mask is rolled for stamina with crit chance and burn resistance. And it has a stamina with crit chance mod on there. The knee pads are rolled for firearms with crit damage, shock, burn, and bleed. Look at that. Perfect, perfect knee pads right there. Uh, and it has a firearms with 3% damage to elites and a 6% first aid self-heal. And the holster here we have rolled for crit chance. Obviously, we've got those 1401s across the board. And it has a 6% first aid self-heal as well. The gloves are rolled for firearms with crit chance damage and assault rifle damage. And the backpack is actually rolled for electronics. And it has some health on there just because I wanted to boost it up a little bit, make it a little bit more tanky. And we got some bleed resistance on there as well. Um, now, the mods that I'm going to be using are firearms with 3% damage to elites and two 6% first aid self heals. So that's about that, guys. Let's take a look at the character sheet, see how this all breaks down. We're going to be basically hitting for about 19,000 per bullet. The crit chance is not too good, 25%, but with precision proc, you know, we're doing pretty good there. Uh, with the crit damage, 120. Headshot, 87%. That's why I was saying stack that headshot damage, because when you hit him in the face in PvE, it really does make a huge difference, honestly. Uh, the accuracy, got the stability up to 33%. Um, got reload speed, yada yada, good stuff here. We got the assault rifle damage, 12%. Now it's going to start to get interesting here. We got 16% damage to elites, which could have been a little bit better, like I said, if I would have had some stamina with damage to elite mods, but it is what it is. It worked out just fine for me. Uh, the enemy armor damage here is 54%. So whatever armor bar they have, it's just like half gone automatically. It's, it's really awesome. Um... And as far as the skill power, we're at 124,000, so we're doing my right there. Got a little bit of a boost on the skill power for this build. And uh, the armor in World Tier 1, check this out. Mitigate 70% weapon damage. 70. This is great. This is so easy. I don't know. It's. I was trying it so many times solo with uh, all these different builds, and then I was like, just drop down to World Tier 1. And... 70% mitigation. That's awesome. So easy. Uh, we got exotic damage resilience. We got bleed resistance of 50%. We got burn resistance of 50%. So burn and bleed, they're throwing grenades at me. I don't really care. It goes away in two seconds. And then we also have shock resistance as well. So that's the build right there. Uh, now let's go over to the gameplay and uh, hopefully you enjoy that. Again, I will have timestamps down there in the description. So if you want to jump around, but... Uh, I mean, it's only like 20 minutes anyway. So, regardless, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you at the end. All right, let's do this. Get in here. Now, one thing to remember while we're doing this is key. We are not farming this. We're just getting to wave 15. That's it. Get it done as fast as possible. And, uh, you know, go from there. Get it done. So really don't pick up a whole lot of shade tech. I mean, if you see a clump of it, sure, but otherwise get it between rounds if you want or whatever. But when I put this up here, I, I kind of put it off to the right so that way it covers down that hallway. And you'll see here in a minute that how that actually works out. And it does cover in the front, but if you put it more to the left, it, it has a hard time reaching down that hallway. But right there, yep, works pretty good. Yep. Not too bad. So I like that turret. And on World Tier 1, it's like, I mean, it's pretty strong, as you can see. Take down purples pretty much by itself. The veterans. I just kind of like to stay front and center and just kind of go, you know, kind of left or right. You know, back and forth from that hallway to, you know, in front here. Got one wave finished. 
And like I said, just smooth. It's so, it's like pathetic how easy this is. Um, you know, I kept getting to wave 14, you know, I'd die in the last hunter, something like that. Now I'm just like, put it on wave, or uh, on world tier 1. And I did, and wow, what a difference, you know? <laughs> but, now the rewards will be accordingly, obviously, but you won't get anything really good from it. But again, we're just getting to wave 15. You can see that thing. Look at that thing hitting them all the way down the hallway. That's great. Also help save on the ammo consumption so you don't have to really, you know, you don't have to buy it as much, at, at least right now. Um, or you're not in as much of a need. It's almost like having an uh, ammo box down, but it's just an ammo box that shoots the NPCs. You know what I mean? It works out good. Second wave, done. See, we're flying through these. And when the um, the waves come that you have to go to the computer, go directly to the computer. Uh, just go straight to it, and that's for kind of like a couple reasons. If you the longer you mess around, the more enemies you kill, the more will spawn, and we know that from the farming techniques. So we're gonna try to you know go against the grain on that and just um, you know just get there, get it done with as fast as you can. But you'll see that here in a moment. I was trying it with the sticky bomb too, actually, because we do have a little bit of skill power. And that does work pretty good too, um, especially on the bosses. But I found that the turret is a lot more... Uh, I don't know what, what the word would be. Would be it's just better. <laughs> you know, I don't know what else... To, I mean... It just covers more area. You can, you know, uh, get it back pretty much instantly. You'll see up when I, you know, when I pop it here in a little bit. I already have it back. It's like, you know, with the sticky bomb, you gotta wait for it and all that good stuff. This thing just always active pretty much, as much as you want it to be, basically. See, boom! I, I already got it back. Wave three done. So we're going. Next wave in 20 seconds. Go to that data breach. Open that door as soon as you can. I usually just collect what's in there and then run out here. Try to get out there a little bit so that way, depending on where it spawns at, where the computer is at, you can kind of get there You, from the middle of the map. You can't really be far from it, you know what I mean? So, as you can see right here, yep, it's only 20 meters away. So, that's perfect. Run right over to it, and you're good. I put that turret there so it'll shoot down the hallway there uh, underneath the, the uh, loading containers or whatever they are right here, the shipping containers, and it works out pretty good, unless they're all the way down there. And being in tier 1, world tier 1, all of your skill power is like amped up, so the, the radius and all that is pretty good for the, uh, the turret, as you can see here. I mean, it's taking them from way over there. Not too bad. Popped them. It's just great when you can shoot, like, you know, uh, you know, kill like five enemies with a mag, you know. I mean, not five, but you know what I mean. And the breach is almost over. Doing pretty good. Alright. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. Lay him out. Keep it going. Run over here and pick up some. Like I said, if you see some that's like clumped up or you know you, you killed a bunch in, in a certain area, you know, go for it. But I wouldn't go out of my way, really. I mean, even if you do open the caches, you know, at the end, you're going to be disappointed because it's only going to be like a 170 score. So we're just going to be getting that shade tech to put on the turret once we open up the second door in here uh, and get into that room. But we gotta open the delivery dock first, so we're good. Go up here, and we're gonna we're gonna hang out up here for the most part. A lot of people open that door, you know, like maybe by wave ten or so. I wait until I think I, I don't open it until the fourteenth wave is over, um, right at the end. And then we go in there, and then we're gonna put all the shade tech that we got on the turret, and <laughs> it works. It works out pretty good. I put that turret down right here in the middle so that it can shoot all the way down that hallway here. 
as well as that corner. So it kind of backs me up. I don't have to worry about right behind me, you know, all the time when I'm shooting this big guy. And really, those guys are more intimidating than anything. If you can get a couple, you know, clean shots, as you saw on that guy with the shield, he went right down. These guys, just because they got a shield, that's nothing. Use the shield to get your stacks, actually, and you'll probably see me do that later on, too. Just shoot them right in the shield, and that'll get your stacks up. You know, and then you hit them in the foot like ten times, and they die. You know, it's nice. And I don't know what happened there. I had a couple drones that just apparently, you know, like blew up or something. I don't know what happened there. Good time to get some ammo. And again, who cares? We're not farming. Just get the ammo if you want it. Get med kits if you need to. We're doing good. Alrighty, wave six. About seven minutes in or so, something like that. Seven and a half. Throw that to it right here in the middle. So it gets that, that corner. And you can see how far it reached all the way down here. It's awesome. But I forgot that it was the uh, the wave that uh, is all the drones. Now, if I wanted to, I could go all the way back to the end of that hallway. And if I wait about 30 seconds, they'll spawn as people. But I didn't want to do that. I was like, just get it done with. And this is actually pretty fast, too, when you when you watch. I mean, not too bad, <laughs> you know. Oh, one more bullet. Oh, that's the actual shield guy. But see what I mean? That's what, even from that distance. A couple bullets get through and they're done. I don't know what happened to that drone. It like went over there and then respawned over here. I, that, that was weird. And then it respawned as another big guy too. Perfect. But it's all right. I see, use that shield, get the stacks up, and then shoot him right in the foot. Lay, lay down, big guy. Yeah, you don't like that. Bigger they are, harder they fall, you know? Shoot them in the toes. 20 seconds until next wave. Doing good. Pick up some div te or, uh, shade tech. Div tech. It's the shade tech. Yeah, we're good on ammo. Be surprised how much you can actually, you know, how long you can actually last with, you know, 900 rounds compared to if you were in you know, World Tier 5, you'd be reloading or, you know, getting ammo every round, you know what I mean? So, pretty good. Running around, running around. And I, I do that too so they. They kind of spawn back here, and I like it when they spawn back here because then they're close. And it's easy to take out. That turret's going behind me, keeping those guys at bay for the most part, you know what I mean? And it just it works out nice. Dun, 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 dun. Seven done. All right, so let's run out here again. And like I said, just try to get out there somewhere so that you're kind of close to it, wherever it may be when it spawns. If you're right in the middle, you can't be far from it, you know what I mean? So. Yep. It's the same one, too. It's really weird it did that, but it is what it is. Come out one at a time. Pick your shots. No big deal. See that turret working? I hate these drones. The shock drones. The, the ones that shoot you aren't bad. Those shock drones are just stupid, though. I, I don't know. And you can see we're actually ranking up a decent amount of shade tech by just going right through it, too. So it'll be worth it in the end when we put it all on that turret. That'll definitely help us out. Take out all remaining enemies. 
<laughs> it's just funny. Uh, yeah, just run around, pick up a whole bunch here. Let's see, I'm going to leave that one up there. I don't need that. I don't care. Let's grab these right here. Cool. That turret's working this guy over here. Yep. Final touch on him. There we go. Wave 8. In the books. About 12 minutes in right now. So that's not bad. Doing pretty good. Throw that down right here on the corner. Alright. And for the contamination events here, don't really, I don't really worry about it too much as on uh, World Tier 1. I mean, on World Tier 5, I think it's a little bit stronger, but at the same time, this does eat at you. So I pull out the shotgun here that has predatory on it and also helps you get your stacks up a lot easier, right? And there we go. And we're just going to mow through this wave like nothing. It'll be over before we even know it. Or that contamination can even get to us. That's the goal. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye. And that's it. Contam event done. Wave 9 complete. Now, we're going to put a little bit over here on the door. Just so, in case we need to, we can just open it up real quick and keep on going. Um, and also, just to you know, put it on there, just might as well. Now we kind of see how much div tech we actually have up there to put on to the turret once we get into the next room but we still got some waves here so we're all right man i can't believe how far that turret goes i don't use a turtle a lot maybe it's always like that but <laughs> this thing works awesome so i'm really bugging to work on uh tactician because i want to make a nice nice build with that right here i get kind of caught up because they both spawned right there but you see I'm all right that's how we do it LDB you know yep there's I think that was the one med kit I used the, the whole time right like <laughs> uh, but watch I mean there you go boom I mean they, half a mag of the, the showstopper to a boss and he's done so it makes it a lot easier. It makes it so much easier. It's really fun too, just kind of being able to destroy everything. But again, the the benefits of it, what you get, the rewards are not really not really worth it. I don't even know what shocked me right there. That was kind of weird, but whatever. Doing good. Drop down ninja style, get some of that ammo, run back. Do you like that? If you like that, hit that thumbs up button. That was smooth, wasn't it? You fall right in front of it, reload, go back. And it's just, like, as you can see, it's just effortless with the showstopper here, pretty much. I mean, they really don't enjoy it at all. <laughs> it's just comical because you, you being used to world tier five and then coming to this and being able to two shot three shot at one of them big dudes that's great that's just oh boy all right nope caught on fire don't you swing at me boy lay down 11 in the bag there we go Stay here for a couple more rounds. As you can see, it's not as pressing to open up that door and get out. You're doing all right. <laughs> Ten seconds until next wave. Probably a final measure build would do great with this. Lone Star, if you had some kind of uh, a heal or going or something like that, would be great. You'd be mowing these things down like I mean, but teats are on whatever you want to do with it. I just say the, the Lone Star, because you always get those grenades thrown at you and stuff, but 
I don't know. It is what it is. Because with Striker, it's, with these guys being such sissies and just being able to mow them down like that, it is hard to get your stacks up unless you're using the shotgun or, you know, whatever. Because with the M4 or the LVOA, anything like that, I mean, you're just half-magging them. Not even half-magging them, you know what I mean? So it's it's something. It works out. I just I haven't played with the Shellstopper in a while now and uh, putting it back to use. There you go, 12 in the bag. That was pretty painless. <laughs> Uh, doing all right. Next wave of hostiles in 20 seconds. Mm, got ammo too. Doing good. Think I'm running low on the showstopper, but I'm all right. Throw that turret out there. Now they spawn again in front and behind me. So I can take them out this way, and my turret's going to start taking them out. It also distracts the big guys. When uh, the big guys come, they'll try and come kick it instead of come after you, and then kind of show you their back for a minute, and it, it works out nice. Because you only need to land a couple shots. You know what I mean? Oh, yep, right here. Perfect. Perfect example. Wow, I just said it. Awesome. Yeah, he ran up, tried to kick it, and he gave me his broadside for couple seconds and was done. Now this guy I'm going to have to get my stacks up and then I'm going to shoot him right in the foot. Or if you can get him to swing like that just for a second and he goes into the, the corner with his shield. Looks like some people that I play in the DZ with. <coughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Get him down. There we go. See, that's that headshot kicking in. That headshot damage. Whew. They can't take more than one or two of them. They don't like that. So what are you thinking? Splat. There it is. One left. Come on. We're doing it, you guys. We're doing it. Another big guy here. Now, I don't know why, but sometimes I can shoot them in their pack real easy, and sometimes it's like it's not even there. I don't understand it. I really don't. I don't know if it's like a glitch in the game or what, but I'm I'm pretty good at hitting those those uh, weak spots, and sometimes it just don't work. I don't know. Gun Again, do the ninja jump down, refill, go back. There it is. <laughs> uh, and again, we got a contam event going again. You don't need no immunizer, you don't need anything, you know, nothing crazy. Just a turret and a shotgun and you'll be over in no time. Because you got to remember those stacks are going to heal you big time. And for tier 1, it's a lot of healing. That's a lot of healing power. Oh, it's so fun. Look at that. <laughs> Lay down. A little inside note, uh, you know, I actually was hitting the head with a golf club uh, when I was about 19. The dude pretty much tried to kill me and broke the golf club over my head. Um, but I got a thick skull and I'm alright. But uh, either way, I always think about that when those guys rush up on me with the uh, the golf club. I don't like them guys at all. Now see, when we're uh, uh, wave 14, complete, run in here as fast as possible, get this turret up and upgrade it as much as you can. Just with the... 15 seconds, whatever you got. If you left that one person alive, you're all right, but then sit, just sitting here, that contamination really starts to eat away at you. But either way, get it up there. Got a couple seconds. When we get to like eight, something like that. Not bad. Not too bad at all. They don't. They don't like that thing. They don't like that thing at all. That's what I don't like. The stupid. Oh, I hate those things. Shock drones. Cause it's like if you weren't there, bud, it would be over with already. Cause all you got to do is get a half a mag on somebody. Watch right here. I, I get this guy pretty good. Reload and here he goes. Good night. That's all I need. Good, you know, 
four or five seconds. Take him out. My turret's working that guy. He's about done. Now he is done. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there you go. We've got two left. Now, you don't actually have to complete wave 15. You just have to get to wave 15. So I just kind of went above and beyond. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed. Finished. Ha! All right, so there you have it. As you can see, pretty smooth. Not real difficult in the least, honestly. If you are not farming it and you're going to be getting all that shade tech, use it for ammo and use it to get that turret going in that uh, that secondary room there you know get that thing upgraded as much as you can it'll help you out a lot and uh, I mean it is what it is guys so other than that if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way smash that like button subscribe for future content and uh, drop a comment down there and let me know what you're thinking about this take it easy guys I will see you next time later